Hey y'all, welcome back to the channel. It has been quite a while since I've done a video like this, a hair video, and I do not know where I have been with these products, but here we go. two different types of gel y'all I don't know where I've been with this new gel and it's not even new because I'm like a year or two late to the party so I am going to do a wash and go which I have not done in a very long time but I'm going to compare these two gels so we have wet line extreme y'all I don't know why I'm just now seeing or seeing videos on this gel. Probably because I haven't been on YouTube like that since I've had the kids. And then I'm comparing which I've always used. My go-to gel was my favorite gel. I'm not sure about now after using this, but we will see. But Eco Styler with the olive oil. So let's get into it y'all i am not going to put eco styler y'all seen me do wash and goes with eco styler if you haven't you can see my other videos first i would like to say about the eco styler that it is um flaky sometimes after a while with different types of conditioner and um it has a little crunch to it because it has it's a 10 max max hold is a 10 but this has always been my favorite gel and we are going to see with this one. Um, yeah, so this is Wet Line Extreme. Very cheap. It's cheaper than the Eco Styler. And it was $2.49. Very cheap. And you get this big thing. If you get Eco Styler in this size, it's like $5. I washed my hair with, and yes, I say wash. Um, I'm from Jersey. So, um, I washed my hair with Shea Moisture Shampoo and Conditioner. Um, I don't have a leave-in conditioner in my hair right now. I do have, not on my watch, what I said in one of my mommy vlogs, I use not on my watch and it detangles very well. So, let's get started with the wet line. I'm so excited. Oh my God, it smells good. Oh. It's a little, a little perfumey, but, um, it smells good. It's, it has like a fresh smell to it. The consistency, it's a gel consistency, ain't nothing special about it. Oh, and yes, I know my hair looks crazy, but yes, as y'all know, I section my hair in four parts. Let me stop talking. And uh, my hair is already washed. Like I said, it already has the knot on my watch. And, and it's kind of damp. It's not too wet. It's not like soaking. So I'm going to just wet it a little bit. Because I like to do my washing goes on soaking wet hair. If you see my curl like this already, it's because, well, that's my curl pattern, but it's because um, the knot on my watch, it detangles your hair like no other, which I've already said that. So I'm going to split it up even more. Um, I have been waiting to use this gel. All right, so I am going to shingle my hair. So I'm going to take this much, this much, can you see it? It's clear, so I don't know what you can see. And I'm going to put it on my hair like this. It feels light. Maybe I got to get some more. Y'all know what products I got to go, I got to use a lot. Okay. I'm going to come back once it dries later on and show you how it looks. Maybe even tomorrow and show you on day one hair. So let's shingle. I'm going to put a little bit more on my, this not even a little bit, but I'm going to put a little bit more and we're going to shake. You're welcome. 
feel like you don't even have to do it with this gel. It goes on really smooth. It feels lightweight, like it feels lighter than the Eco Styler. And y'all know that Eco Style has some shrink to it, so we're going to see how it does on my shrinkage, which is fine. You know, it, when your hair shrinks up like that, it just means that it's healthy in most cases. like a little like spaghetti <laughs> okay and it has a little frizz to it but I don't mind it okay there we go Let's see. okay so I think I'm gonna come back and finish my last section on camera I don't want to hold y'all here while I am like doing my whole head because it takes a minute but it don't take that long with it but I like the gel so far it's very light usually I feel like the um eco style will be more heavier and it would feel like it would have more of a hold on it but we'll see hey y'all so I am back I am on my last piece and um, I have to say, y'all, I'm a little worried because, like I said before, it has such, it's like so lightweight and it feels like Eagle Styler is already a water-based gel. This is also water-based, but it feels even like more watery. So it kind of makes me worried because I feel like I might not get, um, a lot of wear out of it. And like, I don't know how many days I'm going to get out of this wash and go. Um, I'm on my last piece, and so far so good. How's that look, y'all? It looks good. So I'm gonna put some gel on my hands this much, and I already put a little bit on my hair already. So. But y'all, I did not put the grease on my hair yet, which I probably should have. But I'm going to come back once it's all dry, probably the day after. And we're going to see what it looks like. Use the rest of this one. And wet line is also um, a 10 hold, so it's max hold. So I feel like, yes, it has the right amount of frizz. Like, I don't mind that frizz, but what y'all think? Yes, and so this is how it is right now, y'all. My hair is wet, it has the gel on it, and so I kid you not, I'm going to come back in a few hours, and we're going to see. My hair will probably be here in a few hours because my shrinkage is so real it's so crazy but um maybe I'll stretch it out I don't know but this is it I like it y'all it feels good it still feels like soft well not soft yet because it's not dry but it's still like it doesn't feel heavy and like so this is the back does that look? I can't see it. <laughs> so y'all gonna have to tell me. But this is it, y'all. No white flaking yet. 
and so it is um, compatible with the knob on my watch. Um, and you guys, I am already experiencing postpartum shedding, which is the devil. And um, so I don't know, my hair is like, I realized some pieces in front were already short. The first time it was, it was kind of bad, but not too bad. I have so much hair that you really couldn't even tell. But this time, I don't know, I hope I don't. It's, I, and I got it around four months after having Peyton. So this time it's only been two months. So I'm like, I'm already experiencing it so soon. But that's for one of my mommy vlogs. You can go there if you want to see mom stuff. But anyway, so yes, this is it, you guys. I will be back. Okay, y'all. <laughs> so I am back. Here we are maybe about eight hours later. And as you can see, my hair is probably about 80% dry. Like my hair takes a long time to dry. Um, so it's still wet in my roots. But um, as you can see, I, I have the frizz. Let me come up closer. See that? This is what I didn't want. That's what I didn't want. Um, and I knew that was going to happen because it was like so watery and mighty. Um, but yeah, it's, I mean, I feel like it did no different than the Eco Styler started to do. Um, you can, some of them are still really curly and defined, but I just have so much frizz and it's only eight hours later. Um, and it's filled and it looks dry. It still feels kind of like soft and it doesn't have any crunch to it. Um, but I don't know. It's too much frizz. And like I was saying, I can't wear this for several days, you know what I mean? Because it, it's already looking warm. So, actually what I'm going to do is I'm going to put my grease on, my blue magic grease. And then I am going to um, use the wet line over that. And let's see if we can combat some of this for this. <sighs> blue magic. Know y'all for some reason it didn't do me right like the way everybody else was like raving about it and swearing like oh this is the new this is better than eco stylers the new gel and everything Can you imagine when, once my hair really dries 100% how big it'll be? Look at that. It, it already got bigger. You're just putting the grease on. It seems like all the parts that got like 100% dry, some of the strands, those are the strands that became frizzy. So. I mean, I would use the gel again. I just don't see the hype. Like, people saying it's better than Eco Styler. The only thing is it's, it doesn't have the crunch to it like Eco Styler would. I will see you on the next one. I'm gonna um, post a little updated video after this for the next day after. But that is it. I'm gonna say that um, so far, I don't see the hype of wet line. I'm actually gonna try the blue one. I'm gonna come back and try the blue one and see if that's any different because some people say that's better. So basically, after putting all that gel in my hair, 
um, my hair basically came out the same. So today is another day. This is about four days later. I had to wash my hair again, um, wash, condition it. And I actually, this time the difference was I put conditioner in my hair. At first, I just wanted to see how the gel would work, so I didn't put conditioner in my hair. But this time, um, I had to put conditioner in my hair. And it made, to me, a tremendous difference because it looked a mess before, my opinion. You can't just put the, the Wet Line Extreme Gel in your hair by itself. You have to put a conditioner underneath for it to come out nice because it made my hair so dry just like the other gels do when you just put gel in your hair so this is my results y'all after the conditioner and i put um leave-in conditioning cream in if you can see that i put that in my hair and these are the results um this is like day two hair if you can see Oh, I'm like bend it down, but so it's way more defined. See, way more defined. My curls are popping, less frizz, and I don't mind the frizz that's already there. I kind of like the frizz, but that's it, you guys. Um, you can stay tuned for the next video because I ended up using the wet line in Peyton's hair. So you'll have to see how that comes out and stay tuned. So that's it. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please like, comment, subscribe. Make sure you hit that notification bell so you know when I post another video. And I will see you on the next one. Okay?